A solution of NiH2O whole 6 2 plus is green, but a solution of NiCN whole 4 to minus is colorless. Explain. As we can see, aqua ligands are weak field ligands, while cyanide is a strong field ligand. Because aqua ligands are weak field, the crystal field splitting parameter is not as much. And since the crystal field splitting parameter, let me draw that for you, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There are 5 d orbitals, right? And when they split, Eg and T2g, now you have nickel 2 plus which is a D8 complex 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This is a D8 complex, fine, the aqua complex of nickel. Since delta O is small, negligible energy is required for excited state. That means different photons or low energy photons are sufficient for causing this excitation. And that is why nickel's aqua complex looks green. Why? Because it absorbs red photons. And if red color is taken away from white light, the remaining portion of light appears greenish in color. But if you have NiCN4 to minus, since Cn minus is strong field delta is high although geometry is different this is simply a square planar complex splitting may not be exactly in the same pattern but the fun part is the gap is much higher if gap is much higher ultraviolet light photons are needed uv photons are needed for excitation in case of cyano complex since the photons which are being absorbed do not belong to visible spectrum no visible photons are absorbed by this and that is why if white light falls on this complete white light passes through or it's reflected back and the solution appears to be colorless to a human eye and that's why this cyano complex appears colorless why right? it absorbs in uv spectrum while this one absorbs only red photons delta o is less for weak field ligands and delta o is high for strong field ligands this is the correct reason